Hey there, everybody. We are on day two of our Journaling by Fives excursion. Revisit the wonderful work of Miss Shannon Green. Today, we are going to work on collage and recycle. This is the texture portion of our Journaling by Fives. One, two, three, four, five. That's why it's called Journaling by Fives. Um, before I tackle collage and recycled for texture, I want to do a very quick magazine harvest. You can see that two of the elements, the collage and recycled, uh, now that's a texture, words and images, and that is a focal feature of the Journaling by Favs book here. So what we're going to do is I am going to grab a magazine. This is an REI co-op magazine and I think it will be a great little magazine to forage uh, and harvest for some textural kind of elements as well as words and images. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead with like that 15 minute time crunch. I am going to tear I am not going to cut. I may find some images that I want to cut later, but right now we're just going to tear. And what I see here very quickly is I love this image of the trees and the snow right here. And I think I can pop that one out right quick. It's 4.45, so by 5 o'clock I want to have this little part of our journaling by Fob's journey all done. So I'm going to do that. I like this. Uh, I like the, the feature here of the, the wood floor. I think that's super keen. I like the trees. There is, you can see that there's a tiny structure right there. I think that that is interesting texturally. And then I'm looking on the back of this and it's like, oh, you know, that's some of that nice texture too. So we're just going to do that. For this, I love the words new traditions. And I think what we'll do is we'll just tear that. that. I'm just putting everything in one stack. I love this armadillo here. So he's coming out of the magazine. REI is a kind of like one of those wilderness magazines that always has like stellar imagery and always has very natural scenes. Kind of gravitate to it for that particular reason. I love this little crocodile thing right here, so I think we're going to use that. Uh, remember, we're looking for images, you know, images and textural things that are textural in nature. I like the way these snow things are right here. Looks like a Chris is playing drums. I tried to find some music for us to listen to, but we're going to be listening to drums. It's okay. I like the, it looks like an igloo. Okay, it's 4.47, so we've been at things for a couple minutes. Not too bad. And I have a nice pile of trash you know, in case I want to, to 
to use that for anything. I'm not seeing anything here that I can actually use. Love the word stargazing. And I like this image of the people stargazing in Sedona. Some place I've always wanted to go. Don't like that. Text. I like the words do good. this as a textural element. I also love that it reminds me of the cloakroom. Did you ever have a cloakroom in school? You know, uh, it's the place where everybody put their um, jackets, sweaters, lunch boxes. The cloakroom. You put your cloaks there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's just saying how super old I am. The cloakroom. I like this little thing that says the cozy list. So we're going to use that. new experiences. I probably won't use that whole feature up there, that whole headline, but new experiences. We'll use that. Again, I like this illustration here, and I'm, I'm gonna love this. Hmm, that would be a really cool, like, cutout, so I'm just gonna put that page over there. I like these textural elements that I'm seeing here. And I've got some doggies on the next page. And cutouts would be nice. I'm just really liking that texture that I'm seeing going on there. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cute? All right, I'm going to keep that whole thing. Again, I'm seeing that wood grain that I like so much, but this whole puffy jacket thing, that's a, that's a great um, texture piece too. is me. I love staying warm. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I've got a little stack of um, trashy stuff that I might use, but let's just see what we kind of ended up with. So we've got some words here, um, that textural element here, words as well as that illustration, which could be a focal image as well. Um, I love this just for the texture, just for the texture. I did like these uh, illustrations, good for focal imagery, uh, words, words love the texture here i also love the memory that this evokes so you know this will be an interesting um thing to see what happens you know within your journal because a lot of times your emotions and what you're thinking about comes out in your journals as you're 
you know, as you're working with them. So we've got words here, got words here, as well as illustrations here, textual element, image, image, words, texture, texture, texture. All right, so there we go. Um, we'll be jumping back into our journaling by Bob's notebook. Let me show you what I uh, was able to get done today. I don't know, 4.53, so I've got seven minutes to sit here. And um, I'm not going to take up all that time, y'all. At 5 o'clock, I've got to be doing something. But the, the painting on this turned out well. After a few um, spills and splotches and debacles and <laughs> all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but I do like the way it turned out. And it dried nicely because I did use a credit card spreader to do this. And I think it turned out really, really well. I ended up with 23 pages to work with. I think that I... Um, yeah, see, there's a page right there. I need to glue that down. So that has come unstowed. And that sometimes happens when you add a little bit of liquid or paint or whatever to these papers. Sometimes your gluing uh, kind of comes undone. But it's no big deal. No big deal at all. There we go. Oh, I just can't wait to start, but it's just going to have to wait till tomorrow. I hope you guys are playing along. Let me know how you are getting along with your new journaling by fives composition books. See you later. Bye.